and today is a great day. Do you know why? Well, if you read the title to the video, of course you know why. I bought a new guitar. Let's crack this thing open. This wouldn't even be a real YouTube video unless you watched me open it out of the box. So let me introduce you to my little friend, Swiss Army Knife. moment of truth we've all been waiting for. Uh, it's a Dan Electro. Set the knife down. It's a Dan Electro 12 string. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. And it's in tune, that's amazing. Kind of in tune. Yeah, so this uh, awesome Dan Electro, I just got it online. I ordered it myself. And uh, it looks pretty awesome. Now let me show you the Dan Electro. So this Dan Electro, I ordered it online, like I said, and I got a great deal on it. I got it for $117 off of whatever the list price was, which I think it was like 500 and some dollars. I paid $420 for this guitar. Let me show you why. This was a B stock, meaning it has some sort of blemishes or damages. And there's two cracks in the finish on this guitar. And let me show you the first one. We're just going to zoom in. Do you see that crack right there? Probably can't. You know why? Because it's just the tiniest crack ever. And then the crack right there. Do you see it? Probably not. But... Because of those two cracks, I got this guitar for an incredible deal. And I'm sure you guys want to hear me play it. So let's do that now. Look, it matches my shoes. Anyway, Dan Electro, what a great brand this is. Made popular by Jimmy Page. Uh, these guitars were considered budget guitars. Uh, this one's made in Korea. But uh, yeah, for a closer look, there you go. And we're going to try it out through this. Silvertone Twin 12, and then we'll also try it out a little bit later on my Vox AC15. Because George Harrison and the Beatles like to play 12 strings through Vox amplifiers. And as far as trying it through the Twin 12, um, I like this amp, so we'll try it through that. You don't have much of a say in the matter. Okay, everybody knows the rules. When you get a new guitar, the first song you play on it better be a good one. <laughs> tremolo now. Oh, I better put my knife away before I get poked in the eye. All right, here we go. I 
guess I kind of tore through that, so I should probably go through these papers. There might be something important. So a little catalog. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's cool. A poster. Dean Electra poster. I probably won't hang that on my wall, but that's still cool. If I was a kid, I would love to have that poster. And then I also noticed this on the box. It says, hey, you should probably wait and leave your guitar in the box for a little bit. Whoops. Well, I didn't do that. Oh, well. I think the guitar's fine. Hello. Okay, as promised, we'll try a little bit of this 12 string through the box. <laughs> same time but uh, yeah this guitar is freaking awesome I'm having way too much fun here this thing is awesome I love it you guys are gonna see it in a ton of more videos that I'm doing because you know I wanted to get this guitar because I've never had a 12 string first of all I never really played an electric 12 string so I don't know that many 12 string songs yet but uh, I just really think I can tell right now this thing is gonna be used a lot when I'm making recordings and new songs, uh, we'll start, uh, maybe I'll start bringing this out and playing it for a song or two. Ooh. Wow, yeah, so I better probably turn the camera off and start playing because this thing, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's extremely inspiring. Oh, hey, you're still here. Well, since you're here, um, it's time to pay our respects with this record time. This edition, I'd like to uh, feature this uh, Living in the Material World by George Harrison. I just got this record this week, actually, at my local record store, The Groove, just a neighborhood record store. And uh, this one is uh, the 1973 effort by George Harrison. Love this record. It is awesome. Uh, I got it for a great deal, used for, I think, under $5, so you can't beat that. Um, this is my second favorite George Harrison record for me personally, All Things Must Pass, I think has got to be everyone's, I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a classic, honestly, but this one's really cool. Uh, the one thing I did like about this record, listening to it, I've listened to it probably about five or six times now, but, uh, they used, uh, the, I guess basically the same, uh, band that John Lennon used on his solo records, and they kind of produced it, like, not as big of a production, so I, it kind of has the same feel, uh, Klaus Vormann, plays bass on this one, which, you know, as if you're a Beatles fan or a Lennon fan, you know that he's the bass player there. Oh, Ringo's on this too. That's cool. Uh, no Eric Clapton. Special thanks to Ravi Shankar, the sitar guy. Um, produced by George Harrison and Phil Spector. Okay, that's just one song Phil Spector produced, I guess. But very cool. I definitely recommend checking it out and listening for yourself. We'll see you next time.